It's called underperformance, Courtney. Stock pickers are having another dismal year. Now, twice a year, Morningstar publishes a report that measures the performance of U.S. active stock funds against their passive peers. So the latest conclusion, the same as before. Stock pickers are still losing out against their passive brethren. Now, just 36% of active U.S. stock fund managers outperformed their passive peers over the last 12 months. That's according to the report. And it wasn't much better a year ago. 43% outperformed in 2017. It's getting worse. But it's been kind of like this for years now. Why can't active managers outperform? Several reasons. First, they've got cash on the sidelines. That hinders performance. Number two, they may have the wrong mix of investments. So underweighting winners is a real issue here. If you're underweight Apple, for example, in the last year, you're going to underperform. And third, this is the most important thing. They charge fees. The highest hurdle active managers face is their own fees. So active funds that charge the lowest fees were able to outperform their passive peers more than those that charge the highest fees. This makes sense. Look, if you charge 1.5% and your competition charges only one half a percent, you're going to underperform in the long term. Now, Ben Johnson, who authored the report, concluded investors would greatly improve their odds of success by favoring low-cost funds, which succeeded far more often than high-cost funds over the long term. And they emphasize they include passive low-cost funds as well as active low-cost funds. And I think the key takeaway here, guys, is not that stock pickers are terrible at picking stocks. Some of them are very good. Structural issues like too much cash on the sidelines or, for example, the high fees they charge, that's what causes a lot of the underperformance. Back to you.